Good morning, good morning, gals. What is going on? It is a BEA year old from A, and I am on the way to go get some more wood. Shocker, I know. You haven't really seen a whole lot of the build, but what we have here is our giant three slab table. Humongous. That is eight foot tall. So that is our top. Our legs are here. Not quite done yet, but we are very, very close. Then we can put it all together. Cannot wait. Gotta find a battery. Yep, there it is. Right on. All right, well, the trap is coming along. I got my handy dandy new saw. The Dewalt. She is a beaut. I have been cutting wood. Tons. I'm on the way to go get more cedar. All right, got my bag. Threw in some rods. We may go hit up a few spots on the way. Now I have to grab a chest mount. I thought I was gonna be taking a break from the uh, video stuff, but I ended up selling my big camera. So we have I can't win today. Alright, back in a minute. Anyhow, I had sold my camera and uh, thought I would be taking a break for a while, but I found a Sony camera for three Hondo. And uh, I have heard good things about it. I want a camera that is compact. And I forgot the trash. Um, I want a camera that is compact. And I want one where I don't have a humongous microphone. I can put it literally in my pocket with a kit lens and it is a flip up screen not touch but anyhow we're on the way we're on the road gotta go get wood I may hit up some honey holes we will see what we can get into it is sure to be a fun day and a good video stick around stay tuned all right all right we are on the way to pick up a guest we have a riding partner fellow angler you know him charlie paladino jr now we'll see him in a minute we're gonna pick him up and head on down the road let's do it There we go, gals. I'm on. Good one. On the old black and blue. Never fails. Look at that pretty fish. Pin. There we go. Look at that fish. Pretty. Heck yeah, dude.
right on. Freaking hammered it. Heck yeah. There we go, guys. The one I've been waiting for all day. Big. Yeah, baby. Yeah. There it is. Pretty. Pretty, pretty. Happy Valentine's Day to me. I knew there was one there. I threw out there and spurred it a few times. So we're gonna let them go right here. Pretty, 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 pretty. Pretty fish. Ready? Here we go, guys. Come on. Get vertical. There you go. There you go. Woo! Good four and a half, maybe. Oh, grind. Shallow, shallow. And freaking shallow. Well, 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 good morning. Uh, it is February the 18th, 19th maybe. I don't know what day it is. 19th, okay. February 19th, and we are here getting ready to put up some more pegboard. So as you can see, I have been hard at work over here. The problem is when you put pegboard on a wall that is framed, you have to have a way to offset that pegboard. So, like over here, I have more pegboard here and over here. All, all of that pegboard will be for my tackle. Like here, I got like stuff going on. But once I go to the hardware store, I have this little toy right here, and this is a cutter for conduit. What I have done in my garage is I have taken the cutter and actually offset and make a little spacer. So what I'll do is I'll buy some probably uh, three quarter inch pipe and use that to cut it and put it in between the pegboard and the two by. It will bring the pegboard out right at an inch. Then I can go ahead and put my hooks in. I can hang all of my tackle. So I'll have all of my um, tackle here and I haven't quite figured out what I want to do here yet because I can put pegboard there the problem is I already have some packages right here. So if I put it up against that wall, then I literally have to move it all over unless I move that to there. And then I have to put another stud. I have to have a way to support that pegboard. So, that is what I got going on today. Um, I have been taking a break. I got my legs made. I have to glue them all up and uh, start working on the bench, the actual bench, the actual bench is right here. Seven foot 
six long. And that will be at the bench for the table. So, I have a lot going on. And uh, I'm going to grab my buddy Coda. And we're going to go for a ride down to the hardware store. I also have to fix the onboard battery charger because one connection is not working and you can't go out on the lake and have die batteries. Got a lot going on and uh, thought I would give you a little peek into what I have had going on. I hope that you enjoy the video so far. That bass was beautiful. So we're gonna head to Is. I will see you back in a minute. Don't go bye bye. Don't go bye bye. Okay. Don't go bye bye. Go for a ride, huh? Go for a ride in the car, huh? Go for a ride in the car. Yeah. Ready? Okay. Good boy. Good boy. Okay. Come on. He gets so excited. Okay. on the mess. Okay. Ready? Come here. Oh. Over here. There we go. There we go. Right here. Up, up. Good boy. Good boy. He is doing so well and uh, I could not be happier close the door let you forget to close hey buddy on the treat huh on the treat I got one for you since I am at a red light but not for long Or uh, Lowe's or Gibbs D. Um, he 
people want to come up to him, and he is very, very shy on a leash and will not approach anyone. Uh, in fact, will actually lean on my legs, um, saying, you know, they're, they are scaring me, please protect me. But when he is not on the leash and at a dog park, the minute anyone turns their back to him, he is hurting them like sheep um, and can get quite uh, nappy. So I haven't taken him off the leash at the dog park. Um, but you can't really tell everyone who is in there at the moment to do what you ask uh, because they're on their phone or they're uh, into themselves and don't really care about your dog. Um, that's just what it is. But anyhow. <laughs> Anyhow, we are almost to Ace, and uh, we'll see you back at the house.